What's going on everyone? My name is Jeff. So I decided to make an updated video about how to short stocks with Weeble, okay? I've had a lot of people request that I make a new updated video. Of course, there has been some slight changes to the app. And of course, for beginner level traders, this video will probably fit you very, very well. Guys, we are in the middle of a huge trade war right now. You know, over 600 points fell off the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So short selling and buying and selling put options is a very useful tool to have in your tool belt as a matter of fact in two of my accounts today despite the huge drop on the indexes I actually came up in the green of course in my Robinhood account I sold quite a few put options a day but I was also green in my Webull account where I've been holding some stock short and I've been short on a few index funds so I'm gonna go through step by step I'm gonna show you exactly how to short stocks on the Webull app do me a favor guys drop a thumbs up on this video. I appreciate all the support and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. All right, so step number one, obviously you have to have a Webull account opened and it has to be a marginal account. So if you have not signed up for Webull yet, guys, I will have a link pinned down in the comment section feel free to use my link and you will get a free share of stock and then fund your account up to $100 and you will actually get two free shares of stock it's probably the best bargain in the referral business right now and of course keep in mind when you are setting up your account you are going to have to set it up as a marginal account and you have to have a minimum balance of $2,000 now last year I made a video about how to convert a cash account into a marginal account step by step. I know that video helped a lot of people who came into the stock market, got a Webull app, of course started on the cash side, but wanted to broaden out and get a marginal account. So I will also have a link to that video down in my comment section. So that's step one and step two. You have to have an active Webull account and you also have to have margin enabled. So now you got your account set up and you're ready to trade. Of course, this video is not any kind of suggestion about which stocks to short or any of those techniques. Of course, I have a lot of other videos about that. I am just simply breaking down the mechanics of how to short stocks on Webull. But I will share this with you. This is a trade I'm actually planning on making later this week. The theory behind this, guys, is that this trade war is probably going to knock somewhere between 10 and 15% off of all the indexes. And this is the Invesco Trust Power Shares, and the ticker symbol is QQQ. And basically, this is an ETF that tracks the progress of the NASDAQ index. So what I'm really looking for here, guys, I don't want to short qqq tomorrow after that 600 point drop what i'm really looking for is a bounce okay i want to see some recovery in the stock market if we continue to drop i'm just simply gonna wait but as you can see over here guys like on may 9th we had a big decline on the indexes and then later in that afternoon and on the start of the 10th the markets bounced back up okay and so that is what i'm looking for right now i want the markets to bounce back up see a pretty decent sized recovery and that is where i would like to go short on qqq so go ahead and log into your Webull account. Of course, it usually pulls up your default watch list. And we're going to go down here to this little set of horns and click on that. That is the Webull button. So the next thing you're going to come to is your main brokerage page, okay? Now I really want you to focus on this little midsection that shows account performance, orders, funds, trade deposit stock transfer and withdraw that's where some of the new changes have came in the app so guys we're going to go right over here and we're going to click on trade and then it's going to ask for some layer of security like for example it might scan your face or you might have to enter in a passcode something like that to allow the person using the phone to make a trade and now it's going to pull this up and ask for your ticker symbol of the stock or ETF that you plan to trade. Like I said, guys, we're going to go with ticker symbol QQQ. So just type that into the search bar and click on the ticker symbol. Now you are at an open order, okay? So you see up in the top left, you have your ticker symbol QQQ. Now right down here, guys, on this top line that says side, 
if you are going short on a stock or ETF, you're going to want to click sell. I know some people do find that a little bit confusing. Just keep in mind, it's really very simple. To go short, you click on sell. And obviously, to buy a stock, uh, you're going to click buy. Then we're going to go right down here under it to quantity. I went ahead and selected 10 shares. And of course, I always use limit orders and I typed my price in at $179. All right, so moving down to the bottom, you're going to choose your time in force. So if you want it for day, obviously you're going to select day, but there is a feature where you can choose to keep your order in as good till canceled. So basically, your order is going to stay in and be ready to trade once your price is met. Then you can choose if you want this order to be effective in extended hours. And you can click yes for that or you can leave it blank if you only want it to pick up during normal trading hours. Then you have your stop loss take profit option. I never use that because I like to be totally in control of all my trades. Now everything is set up. We have our price in. We have our quantity in. We've selected our time in force and we're going short. Now you are ready to place your order and submit. So now assuming that your order filled at 10 shares for $179 a piece. To make money on this trade, guys, we are actually going to have to buy those shares. So now we're going to go and we're going to select buy. We're going to put the same quantity in as 10. We're going to choose to use a limit order. And I want this trade to cover at $169.05. I don't know why I picked <laughs> that specific amount. And for time and force, you can choose day or good till canceled. Now, same as the sell order, you can select this trade to be effective in extended hours or you can leave it blank. And then, of course, your stop loss take profit function, which I don't use. So I always just skip that part. So, all right, guys, this is the price and this is the amount of shares you want to cover at $169.05. You are ready to place and submit your order. All right, so now for the fun part, let's assume that both your sell and your buy order have covered at this point. Let's talk about your profit taking, okay? So we shorted 10 shares of QQQ for a grand total of $1,790, and then we bought them back at $169.05. So the total amount of money we made on this trade was $99.95. And all right, guys, that's all I got for the video. Make sure if you have any further questions or something you're not 100% for sure about, go down to the comment section and I will try to help you when I get spare time. Thank you as always for watching the video and have a great day.